Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be doing a review on the Cleantech UVC air purifier and before we get into it I just want to tell you that my lungs function at uh, 64% so I'm a little over half of a lung basically when I breathe so I'm very picky about my air quality and when they contacted me they asked me they could send a unit and if I could do a review when I saw what the technology was I was very excited so Let's get to it. The clean tech uses an ultraviolet light, the same kind of technology that hospitals use to sterilize rooms. So kind of consider this a residential version. With the clean tech, the air first passes through a HEPA filter and then into a chamber with an ultraviolet light. And once it's sterilized, it pushes it out through the top with a fan. So it has two settings, max power, which is the fan at full speed, and it will run at two hours at max power, or it will run for 24 hours at half speed of the fan, or at least half the volume. So you just push it, hold it down, it will jump into the first mode. Push the button again, it will go to the 24 hour mode. After it reaches two hours or 24 hours, depending on the setting that you have, it will just shut off. Now I have a very strong sense of smell and with this running, I noticed it wasn't a smoke smell, but it was almost like something was burned and it kind of had a sterile smell to it. And I'm not sure if other people will notice it, but given that it's ultraviolet light breaking apart organic matter, there is going to be a smell that you're not going to get with other filters, but it is sterilizing the air. All right, this is the underside of the unit. These uh, feet here are actually threaded screws. So if you unscrew them, then you want to make sure that you're doing this when the unit is actually unplugged, not just off, because you don't want to, to have any form of accident in being exposed to ultraviolet light. Okay, with the four feet screws out, we will just go ahead and unplug that, remove that, and you can see the filter here. Now this air filter is replaceable, and they recommend replacing it every uh, 6 to 12 months, depending on the usage. And also, I want you to notice here, that yellow tinge, dark yellow tinge, is from exposure to the ultraviolet light. It is natural it happens it's just the process of what happens to plastic you'll notice this on maybe old plastics like an old nintendo goes yellow or those old computers that's because they're exposed to ultraviolet light among other things so in here is the actual tube there's an ultraviolet bulb in there and a mirror kind of see it in there i'm not going to turn it on and then it just plugs in here. But you can see also more yellowing. This is probably the best example. And so I was worried about UV light spill. And so I sent them an email and I asked them some more questions because I didn't want this sitting on my carpet. If you have this in a dark room, you can see kind of a bluish light reflecting down onto the carpet. And so I didn't want to have any uh, problems whatsoever with bleaching my carpet. So I ran some tests of my own, but I also asked them about UV light spilling. This is a 13 by 19 sheet of photo paper that I used. I printed on uh, with inkjet inks, which are notoriously uh, bad when it comes to being exposed to UV light. So I did my own experiment. That yellowing of the plastic that you saw on the inside was from exposure to UV light. So if this light that was kind of a soft diffused light that was coming through had UV light in it, then it would definitely fade this ink. So I ran this for actually 26 hours. And as you can see the results here, it didn't fade the ink at all. The only place where it kind of changed it was where the feet were rubbing against the uh, photo paper. In addition to my archaic test, I did reach out to Cleantech 
and they replied with these videos showing the filter both from top and bottom with an ultraviolet light meter and as you can see it's almost zero light leakage it is very very minimal so the next logical question is how effective is this air sanitizer if you look in the manual it states that it can sterilize the air as much as 99.9 percent if you know anything about ultraviolet light there are very few organic bacteria and viruses that can survive ex exposure to high amounts of ultraviolet light this also is a filter that is good for a space of 50 square meters which is about 540 square feet. I am very much looking forward to having this purifier at my disposal, especially if people come and visit and I suspect they might be sick or at times of allergies. Like I said, my lungs don't function very well, so I take clean air very seriously. And so this is a very powerful tool that I will have at my disposal. So there you have it, the clean tech UVC air purifier. I'll put a link in the description below where you can pick it up. And if you want more videos like this, more reviews, all kinds of products, click that subscribe button, ring the bell. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. I will answer them. But uh, also the company that sent me this, they are very responsive as well to me. So I can get maybe some more information. If you have questions, I'll put them in the comments. And I may do a follow-up video and a comparison to other filters later on, but definitely this is one that I'm going to keep around.